Welcome to Whiteboard Programming, where we simplify programming with easy to understand whiteboard videos. And today I'll be sharing with you how to learn data science and become a data scientist with simple five step and a 10 step journey roadmap. With the five step shortcut, you will be able to solve basic machine learning problems right away. And as a beginner, I would recommend you to take this part first if you want to get something done with machine learning or grab a broad understanding of the subject. On the other hand, you can take the 10 step path to become a data scientist or a more advanced machine learning engineer. And also, you can take the 5 step method first and then work your way through the 10 step method. Lastly, I'll be sharing respective links for each in the description below, so be sure to check them out. With that being said, let's get started. 5 step process Number 1. Master Python or any other programming language like R, but I would recommend you to start with Python as there are a lot of resources for you on the web that are free. I'll suggest you to go with trial and error approach along with some reading, but if you're looking for paid alternative, I'll be sharing a Udemy course link in the description. Number 2. Learn how to use NumPy and SciPy, Pandas and Matplotlib and Seaborn. For starters, NumPy and SciPy are mathematical libraries and Pandas is a Python library for data manipulation and analysis. And Matplotlib and Seaborn are the libraries that help you visualize the data in a readable format. Number 3. Get familiar with basic concepts of machine learning. So I have created a simple 5 minute video to get you started. I'll be providing the link for the same in the description below but that is not to be considered all. You must experiment with these concepts and take a step forward with your learning. Number 4. Read about Scikit-learn. Now this step is actual catalog reading. For those who don't know, Scikit-learn is a tool set that you can use to solve problems and you don't have to learn everything in the library, let me just tell you that. You can just start to learn and implement one or two models and read about others as you go along. Also a quick FYI, Scikit-learn is a Python library that has a lot of already implemented models that are black boxes and you can use them to train and make predictions directly. And you can even tune the model parameters to suit your problem and get more accuracy with them. Number 5. Read the chapter 2 in the book Hands-on Machine Learning with Scikit-learn and TensorFlow. Link for this book will be given in the description below so be sure to check it out. So that's all for the 5 step process. So after this 5 step process, you've got an insight over working of how data science industry works. But if you are someone who tends to take it up as a career, I would recommend you to take the second path which is a 10 step process. This path will actually turn you from a beginner to a data scientist and it will give your tool set and the knowledge required to solve relatively complex problems. So let's get started with this. In the 10 step plan too, first step remains the same. Choose a programming language to master and use it in your journey. Number 2. Revise your linear algebra. There's a link in the description that is open source and free to use, so be sure to use it. Number 3. Revise your statistics and probability knowledge from cheat sheets or you can learn it from scratch on Khan Academy. Link is there in the description below. Number 4. Revise your calculus knowledge or learn calculus from this free YouTube playlist that you can use and is available in the description below. Number 5. Now it's time to take a free course from Andrew NG on Coursera. Link is there in the description below so be sure to check it out. Number 6. I would recommend you to read the full book of hands-on machine learning with scikit-learn and TensorFlow. The link is already in the description below. In 5 step process I told you to just read the second chapter but now for 10 step process I would recommend you to read the book thoroughly. It is full of information and is good for gaining technical knowledge. Number 7. Practice a lot on Kaggle. So by now you'll be in a state of solving problems with machine learning techniques that you have understood so far. So it is good to practice on Kaggle and network with like-minded individuals you find there. Number 8. Learn data visualization from edX with this free course I've provided in the description below. Number 9. Learn how to work with databases, be it SQL or no SQL. For this, I would recommend you to experiment yourself because it's quite easy and you'll find ton of tutorials online which are freely available. Number 10. Learn Hadoop and Spark on Udemy. I have provided a link to a good course on Udemy in the description below and there are a lot of free courses and books out there that you can check out if you don't want to go with this course. Further, I'm sure if you have reached this point, you'll be able to guide yourself forward with your career success. Lastly, be dedicated and have faith that you can do it. It's gonna be hard but completely worth it. Mark my word on this. So all the best to your journey in making your machine creative. With that, I hope this video was helpful to you and served value. If you love my content, be sure to smash that like button and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do as it keeps me motivated and helps me create more content like this for you.